Recently, the Art Gallery of Algoma has been engaging local artists by giving them the opportunity to show and sell their handmade artworks, like these handmade Christmas ornaments by Ernie Roundtree. Ernie, can um, you describe why you decided to take advantage of the opportunity to make some of these hand-painted ornaments and have them being sold at the Art Gallery? Uh, I found the Art Gallery has really been supportive of upcoming artists and that, and it's a great opportunity for us to get our work out to the public eye, uh, especially in Northern Ontario, there's very few venues that we can actually show our artwork, so the Art Gallery is a great big one for us to be able to do that. You've captured the landscape and the feeling of Christmas and also of the region that we live. Can you describe, is that an influence, is, that, is where we live an influence in your artwork? Yes, very much so. Uh, living in Northern Ontario and the uh, Algoma region, uh, the scenery and landscapes are beautiful up here. They're some of the best I find in Ontario. Uh, I lived in Southern Ontario for many years. We moved up here eight years ago for the landscapes and that, that are around. So the paintings are all from the landscapes within the area. What medium do you use to create on these Christmas ornaments? On the Christmas ornaments themselves, I use acrylic medium. They have to find it the best to adhere and to, to last for, for a lifetime, hopefully, for some families. So these are really something that you can hold on to and cherish and like create a memory, give to someone or keep for yourselves? Yes. Uh, I hope that my art can inspire somebody. If it, uh, an emotion, a feeling or something, that somebody wants to hold on to that and pass it on from generation to generation. So Ernie, you are a self-taught artist. How did you come about doing that? Was it something that you always enjoyed doing? Yes, it was something I always enjoyed doing. And uh, two years ago, I had a quadruple bypass surgery. And my wife and my family encouraged me to continue with my art at that time. So I just progressed and progressed. And now it's almost become an addiction with me to have to paint, have to do something artistic. You're not just creating these little miniatures, but you also create in other mediums. Can you describe that to us? Oh yes, I do uh, watercolors. I do a lot of watercolor Christmas cards, which we they have some here at the Algoma Art Gallery gift shop for sale. And uh, those ones there, I actually send to quite a few different places. And, that, and I've just started to dabble in oils. And where do you find your, um most of your encouragement. Where do you learn as an artist, learn and grow as an artist? Do you find that comes from within? A lot of it comes from within. A lot of it from internet research, uh, from coming to talks here at the Art Gallery. They've had a few here, which has been really interesting for us to learn and expand on. And that, the library, of course. And, that, and then just talking to other artists that are around, because the art community is a great people to talk to within themselves. They don't. They're not too uh, shy about explaining. How do you find the art gallery's been recently encouraging local artists to become involved with it? Oh, I think it's fantastic. It's, it's, they've done a really good job. I think they're continuing a good job. They always have something going on, especially for new artists and up and coming artists. So that's really exciting for somebody like myself. For more information where you can purchase some of the artwork of Ernie Roundtree, you can contact the Art Gallery of Algoma. For Shaw TV, I'm Ann Gordonaire.